Hey guys, Brock with Arcan RV again here. Uh, today I'm going to be uh, walking you through a 2021 Heartland Bighorn 3870 FB, which is front bath. Very, very high end unit uh, from, from Heartland. Just to give you a little bit of uh, history of Heartland, they started making high end fifth wheel, luxury fifth wheels. That's kind of where they started. And they've worked their way down into uh, bumper pole travel trailers from, from there. But uh, this is one of their higher end brands. Uh, just falls below their landmark division, which is uh, their luxury, luxury unit. But uh, trust me, this is as luxury, luxurious as it gets, definitely in its price point. So um, little things like, you know what, your one piece painted front caps here, fiberglass front cap with big horn, really, really cool uh, more ride pin box here. So this one is, uh, this one's unique. This is preventing a, a ton of chucking in your, your unit there. So you can see on the side here, you got almost these little white kind of things that look kind of like hockey pucks. They're basically acting as shock absorbers for you. Uh, and then to prevent the chucking, this portion right here will go in and out as you stop or start. And then once you're coming up over potholes, because you've got these in here, it's absorbing all that, uh, that energy, I guess you could say, from say a pothole or bump in the road or something like that, right into uh, your uh, uh, pin box here as well. So really nice high-end feature with, uh, with the big horns there. These all come with six-point hydraulic auto leveling. And on the back side here, uh, you're gonna have access to uh, your 30, uh, 30, 30, 30 pound uh, propane tanks. You got one on this side, one on the other side. You're gonna see obviously the massive pass-through storage compartment here that's very, very well fit, finished, very, very well lit and heated as well. And then here's your universal docking center. So this, uh, this guy has you know, a water filtration system in it. Uh, you've got your connections for you know, your dry camping, city uh, uh, fixtures, you got your uh, uh, black tank flush down here, fresh water connections, you got your hot and cold sources. And then right here, you've got your enclosed and heated uh, holding tanks. The Bighorns do a really nice job uh, as far as insulation on their units. So because this has the Diamond Elite package, which now they've moved on to calling it the Excursion package, it's got some really, really high-end features. So this is a four season unit, no doubt about it. What they do is they enclose and they heat their underbelly. Uh, it is astrofoil on the roof, caps and, and, and uh, uh, under your floors, but as well there with the, uh, the, the heat tanks, or the tanks, they're actually sitting on 110 volt heat pads and those lines are wrapped in kind of like a, you know, one of those pool noodles, I guess you could say. Um, and they take it even one step further than that. So because they think of this as a four season unit, when it hits that zero degree Fahrenheit, those will automatically churn on for you. So it's kind of like a dummy proof system there. Very, very high end feature from, uh, from Heartland. But uh, we'll go around to the front side and we'll talk about some other cool stuff. So here's the front of the unit here. We decided to option out this unit with the additional awning. Uh, that is an option. Uh, it is not standard. We decided to do it on this unit as uh, having it a two awning system there. So it's the entire length of the coach that's gonna be uh, basically illuminated with your LED lighting as well as covered. So it's gonna give you a lot of options on, on where you kind of set up camp on this thing here. Uh, you've got a 10 gallon uh, direct start water heater on this, uh, this unit here capable of producing more than enough water for uh, a couple's coach, which basically this is. I mean, you can have some, some other family friends over if you want, but uh, it's more of a couple's kind of full-time coach there. Frameless windows on the outside here. You've got a uh, friction hinge door, standard with the big horns, as well as a four-step Moride solid step that has the strut assist. So you know what I mean? These steps usually weigh around 40 or 50 pounds. Not having to put these up or put them down is a very nice feature to have there. Laminated, fully laminated sidewalls as far as the slide boxes there. Another high-end feature with, uh, with uh, the uh, Heartland product there. 
and you've got G-rated tires on this unit. And below there, you're not going to be able to see very well, but in between there is what they call their Cree 3000 system. It's a suspension system, so it's taking, taking a lot of the, uh, the, the energy that you're absorbing from, you know, at potholes, debris on the, uh, the ground there, and not placing it up into the unit and distributing it, almost kind of like a, like a torsion suspension where, you know what, you've got a little play back and forth be, uh, uh, with the wheels going up and down. It's about three inches of play up and down there, so you're obviously going to get a really, really nice ride on these. That Cree 3000 system works really, really well. Let's step out on the inside and we'll uh, go and check out the, uh, the living area here. So standard across the board with, uh, with the, the big horns there, you're going to get really nice solid surface countertops. You're going to get the uh, solid surface inserts for your sinks. This is a uh, two basin uh, sink here. Really nice high end residential style faucets. They're the kind of the black plane in with a little bit of uh, uh, giving you a little bit of texture between um, the grays and the black handles and those kind of things. Looks really, really sharp. Um, on the side here, you're going to see we only have two chairs set up on this table, but it does extend and you do get uh, two additional folding chairs as well with the unit. Comes standard that way. With your windows here, you're going to have your day shades and your night shades in the MCDs. Nice high end feature. And then as you can see the size of this sly box, I mean, we're sitting at just about seven feet as far as the height on the slide boxes here. So it gives you that massive feeling of interior living space. Big square footage in this unit here. You have some really nice Thomas Paine uh, collection uh, furniture here. These are gonna have the high-end features like the heat, the massage. They are recliners, so they're gonna come out back and forth, all that kind of lovely stuff. And then in the back here, you're gonna have a, uh, a three cushion tri-fold sofa that's gonna fold basically into another uh, queen bed. USBs on both sides. So you're able to plug in all over the place here. Tons of cabinets uh, above. And uh, I just wanted to point out when we're talking about cabinets, this is all hardwood. It's not wrapped. It's not uh, with the inserts not being hardwood, literally everything that you're looking at that's wood is hardwood. So your fascias, your cabinets, your doors, everything in here is hardwood that way. You're going to have your nice entertainment center over here, over 5,000 uh, BTUs of uh, heat being pumped out through the lovely fireplace down here. You got your big 55 inch uh, 4K TV, plenty of storage above it. And I like the way that they're contrasting the colors in the, the big horn here between the grays and the, the, the browns. It really kind of gives you a true feeling of this is living, this is kitchen. Uh, and it just kind of gives you a little bit of separation there. So uh, you got a really nice chef style Furian cooktop here. Massive oven uh, in these units here. I believe it's a 28 inch oven. And you've got a uh, nice high point uh, convection microwave here as well. So some higher end features like that that you would expect to find in, uh, in a unit like this. Uh, 18 cubic foot gas electric fridge. Uh, you can option it out for the residential fridge as well, but uh, we chose to do the gas electric. Tons of storage inside these things. And in the freezer, and I like the way they do the freezer. I mean, they don't kind of pigeonhole you into just having to put stuff in this side, put stuff in this side. You can put stuff in each side, so it gives you a little bit more space uh, for larger items that maybe take up a little bit more room than what's in, on each individual size that way. More storage off to the side here. Really nice kind of black handles to give you a little bit of contrast. And uh, this is a bath and a half unit as well. So the way that they put uh, their half bath in here, which has got plenty of storage in itself, is nice because it's right at the entry door. So you're not tracking a bunch of dirt or uh, dust, anything like that, debris into your unit there if you're needing to go to the bathroom. They use uh, this half bath as easy access. You can access it with your slides closed on the unit. So if you're on the side of the road, nature calls, those kind of things, gives you that freedom. Now with uh, the big horns here, I'm just gonna turn on the old screen here. They've got this uh, uh, LCI digital display panel here. 
what it's uh, what it's going to do is it's actually going to allow you to. Sorry, I gotta gotta get into it. Uh, control basically anything that's uh, inside of the unit from this uh, this feature right here. So your AC, all your lights, um, your slides, your, your 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 awnings, literally anything that you can you can control from this unit here. You can get a data plan and uh, uh, have an app that's downloadable to your phone to be able to control everything within your unit as well. That way, very very cool feature there. Uh, if you're uh, if you like one of our techs, you like playing around with it, and you almost kind of got like a strobe light kind of dance party going on in here with uh, the way that you can set the, the different settings with the lights and uh, those kind of things. It was pretty cool. But let's step up into the, uh, the bedroom here. Nice little grab handle there. Now, <clears throat> because we optioned out the, uh, um, the Diamond Elite package, or the Excursion package is what they call it now, you can see this bed is tilted. So this is a power tilt uh, king size bed there, your 7080 uh, king size bed there. It will go up and down, so it's nice, you know what I mean, if you're sitting there reading a book or something like that, you can kind of be at an angle, it's super comfortable. And they give you uh, really nice windows on both sides, again with those uh, day and night blinds uh, on both sides as well. USB connections for uh, for your bed. And then underneath there, because it is a tilt king bed, you don't have that storage that so you pull it up because it's an electric bed. So they gave you drawers instead. So you still got that storage underneath, even with having that power tilt uh, king bed option there. Massive bank of drawers on the side here. This is where you're gonna put in an additional TV if you so wish so. That's just an option with, uh, with big horns that you can add. And then, They've got the Whisper Quiet AC system in this unit. So this has got two ACs, uh, both I believe are 15,000 BTUs. So this is a 50 amp connection uh, as far as your, uh, your power. But uh, you know what, significantly less noise coming out of these and more efficient as far as the airflow as well. Inside the bathroom here, you can see you've got your dual vanities, Still solid surface, a massive mirror for, uh, for the his and her sinks here. Got a nice little window looking out on the campsite and plenty of storage below the, uh, the sinks. And then you pretty much just got a walk-in closet. I mean, I'm five foot nine, I'm standing up inside this thing. You can see obviously we've got the uh, foldable uh, chairs for the, uh, the living room back here. And uh, this unit doesn't come with a, a central vac, it comes with a Dyson. <laughs> that is way cooler in my opinion. But, uh, and then it's got its own char uh, charging port and all that kind of stuff back here as well. So, fantastic. Now, because this is a true four season unit, uh, it wouldn't be four seasons without them giving you a washer dryer prep in here. You got some additional storage shelves that can be adjusted to your liking, uh, but a massive area here to put, you know, a stackable or a two-in-one uh, uh, washer-dryer combo there. And then this is their uh, uh, spa shower, I guess you could say. Uh, it's got the uh, the teak wood seat here, uh, so made out of that teak wood. Very nice kind of feel to the shower here. Incredibly large, and then you've got. Uh, little dome there so for the taller person there you got a little bit more headroom as well inside their uh, bathroom here you're gonna have uh, an awesome uh, fantastic fan in here so you're gonna get that airflow going through this unit really really nicely now one of the last things I want to touch on because it is a Heartland product and they're just used to having that high-end started high-end will always be high-end um, the way that they do their floors in the Heartlands is, is incredible. So you got a, you got a three inch floor that's vacuum bonded in these things. So I, I mean, there's very few people in the industry that are doing a three inch floor. What that does is it gives you a significantly sturdier floor and significantly better insulated floor as well. And that vacuum bonded instead of pinch rolled is a very, very efficient way to make sure that that glue settles and is distributed throughout um, because when you when, when, when you when you do the floor differently you have potential for spots to actually have the glue release 
when you vacuum seal something, I mean, just like you vacuum seal uh, steaks at home or whatever it is, I mean, you're preserving something. That's the base way that I like to look at vacuum bonding. It's you're preserving what you're vacuum bonding. So um, this was the, uh, the Bighorn 3870 FB, one of my favorite floor plans. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.